thought you'd get away with it, didn't you? Get away with what? It's 2.30 in the morning. You should be in bed sleeping. I'm on my way right now. Don't give me that. Where were you? That's none of your business. You know what? Sit down. You can't tell me what to do. When you're living in this house, I can. Now sit. Well, then I won't stay here any longer. I'll grab my things and be out of your hair. Why are you doing this? I'm sorry I'm such a burden to you, but I don't think you really have much of a choice right now. Yeah, well, anything's better than here. And where do you think you're going to go? I don't care. Anywhere but here. Do you really think it's that easy? You're a minor. If you leave here, you'll end up in foster care. Well, then I'll go stay with a friend. If you leave here, I'm calling social services. That's not fair. I hate you. Tabitha, come here. Please. Why should I? I can call social services if I don't? Please. Look, we need to work something out. I know this isn't the ideal situation, but I am trying. I promised your mum I would look after you when she died, and I'm doing the best I can. I don't like, what else do you want me to do? Well, for starters, you can lift the stupid curfew. I can't do that. See, there is no talking to you. Look, before you go storming off, there's something I want to show you. What is that? It's for me, for you. What does that mean? Well, it means your mum gave it to me before she died. It's a list of the rules I'm supposed to follow for you. What kind of rules? Well, for starters, a few times until you turn 18 and a letter I'm supposed to read to you when you're 16. I'm not supposed to read it until you turn 16. Please, it's from my mum. Okay, just promise me one thing. You calm down a bit with the whole sneaking out thing. Fine. Now what does it say?